Hey, what's up guys? It's Bodhi here from BodhiDavison.com. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to create AI art using Kittle. So a brand new one on the block. It seems AI art is the hottest trend right now and everyone's very excited because of print on demand. So I wanted to show you guys how to use this one today. Kittle has been one of my favorites to be using for t-shirt designs recently. So we'll dive into how to use their AI as well today. If you enjoy the content, please give it a like for me. Please comment down below any questions or comments you have. Make sure you check out all of my playlists on the channel. There's lots of things to help you with print on demand and making money online. And make sure you hit subscribe. Let's go. All right, so you can see actually up the top here, it's saying Kittle AI is here. So you can just create with Kittle by clicking on that. And it does have this here. You just click on that, go through. We might as well click on it. I already had the page open though. All right, so you get a certain amount of credits that you can use for free because this is the beta at the moment. And obviously you'll be able to pay for a subscription and use it for however long. But today I'll use up some credits here and show you guys how to use it. And they actually have a really good prompt book over here. So, or prompt page, call it a prompt book, but it shows you how to use it. So we'll go through this and play around with it. It's got open the tool, write a prompt. So a wild roaring lion head. Then you can choose an image or clip art style and generate your image. So there's lots of different ones down here showing you what's gonna happen when you do different sort of prompts. So you could do this exact prompt or very similar. So you could do a prompt very similar to this foggy scenery one here, which looks really cool, I reckon. And then start getting into things like this and all sorts of different cool ones like digital art for print on demand. These ones here are the ones that I like a lot, which is like the psychedelic sort of ones and the um, steampunk down here. Definitely people using Anime style shirts and that at the moment, making really cool AI art designs and selling them. And the synth wave stuff looks really cool as well, I think. So let's start playing around with it and get some ideas flowing. If we just go down below, they've got clip art styles as well. So you can see different things like this. Uh, the color splatter ones, you would have seen shirts like that as well. Again, the cyberpunk, very, very popular at the moment. But um, detailed drawing is also cool. Go down, they've got the background remover, of course, because it's gonna be printed on t-shirts. Then they got vector styles, so another good way to come up with designs for t-shirts, all the vector style ones. And we come down, we've got pattern styles. And then down the bottom here, they've also got a thing to copy their prompt. So it's telling you exactly what they've used to give you ideas. So for starters, I think this looks really cool. Style, digital art, cyberpunk city with spaceships, vibrant purple and pink glowing neon lights. So let's copy that and we'll go test it, but change it up. So maybe we'll go red and blue and we'll click generate image. And now it's just loading up and we'll check it out, see what it comes up with. I'm sure it'll look really cool because I love that style. That cyberpunk style looks so cool. So this is the design that it's come up with. To be honest, not that impressive. It's kind of cool, but not that impressive to me. So let's play around and go with another one. This time I'm gonna select an image style. So we'll go the psychedelic one here. So how about we go futuristic robot lion with huge muscles. Let's see what this brings up in psychedelic style. So this should look pretty crazy, I would assume. Let's make this one bigger. So it looks pretty, pretty nuts. Uh, it's exactly what I said. This is better, this looks pretty cool. Probably not as detailed as what I would have liked, but um, you can obviously put that in there. So this one here has got detailed drawing. Maybe we'll just click on detailed drawing and see what it does with that same prompt. So it's cool that you can give them a style there. You're really giving it something to work with. Oh wow, so this is very different, isn't it? <laughs> very, very different. It looks pretty cool, but I wouldn't say it's detailed though, but it's definitely, you know, it's listening to my prompts. So that's very cool. Let's just drag these out of the way and we'll just keep going with some other ideas. So let's go back over here and see what other sort of prompting we can do to make it better. All right, so I was just having a think. Let's try out a beautiful beach. So very basic command, but we'll put a certain type of style on it. Maybe we'll try the steampunk style because I think that might, who knows what that'll look like. All right, let's generate that one and have a look. All right, so that looks pretty cool. Very steampunkish. Uh, it's hard to tell what's going on in it, but it looks cool. 
All right, let's drag that to the side. Let's try out something towards like actual print on demand. So Labrador Retriever, and we might go this color splatter style and see what that comes out, whether that would be good for a print on demand t-shirt. So it's definitely color splatter. It looks kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. I could think that you could make something better than that though. What about if we done a Labrador Retriever in painting just to see what that looks like. And that definitely looks like a Labrador Retriever. Looks quite good, quite detailed actually. Sit that down there. All right, let's try something in the Anaheim. So how about we just put in like busy city and then we change that to Anaheim and see what comes out. Busy city, maybe with heaps of people. And that's what it's came out with. Not the greatest, like it is kind of what I said. Probably I needed more detail in it. It really comes down to your prompts, I would say. Let's go muscle man lifting weights at the beach. Okay, let's see what this comes out with. So it looks kind of cool, but this part here doesn't make any sense at all. But you know, they've done a pretty good job here. We've got like a, we've even got a bit of a detailed background going on. What if we go lifting weights in the gym for one final one, just to see what it comes out with. <laughs> Same thing again. It's given him some weird arms and stuff here which uh, is very strange, but who knows, maybe he's some sort of a uh, freaky dude like Goro of Mortal Kombat, has four arms. But he's, yeah, this arm doesn't make much sense coming down here. But yeah, anyway, we might leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bit of mucking around with an AI art generator. Obviously my prompting could do with some uh, work. Not something I've played around with too much, but you could see the possibilities are pretty big with this. You could just go into like vector styles. Maybe I'll try one more with vector styles. Vector art with a phoenix. Let's see what that looks like. So yeah, the possibilities, like I said, pretty endless with this. You could create all sorts of different designs for print on demand. You're just gonna have to be better at prompting than I am. But again, with this, you can also change like the color, things like that as well. So it doesn't have to be set however you've got it there. Um, you can change it to transparent background as well if you needed to. Just a really good tool though, but everything seems to be going with print on demand towards AI art at the moment. So definitely jump on that trend. As I get used to it and know what I'm trying to actually accomplish with it, I'm sure I could come up with some good designs. But anyway, that's it for today's video. So some AI art and how to do it, how to use Kittle to do it. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a like for me. Please comment down below any questions or comments you have. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.